Good girl. Okay. So, as I'm bringing Cassie forwards, you can see her toes. You can't see very clearly, probably, but her toes are flexing. And extend. So now we've got an extension. And then if I push her slightly backwards, we have a little bit more of a of a flexion. I think. I'll have that run the wrong way. Let's have a look. So now her nails are digging in. Her feet are uh, feet are in flexion. Her toes. And when I push her backwards, we have an extension as she spreads those feet out there. Oh, so we've got Taylor. So if you watch his toes and his feet down, as he lays down, he does a tiny bit of flexion and then stretches those toes out and then to stand, man and wait, stand. There's a tiny bit of flexion as he just holds on with his toes to pull himself back up again. Let him come round. Good boy. Take it back a bit, T. And Taylor down. Good boy. And there's a real nice extension of the toes, the webbing in between the toes as well. Down, good boy, and have a stand. Good boy. Ready, down, <laughs> and stand. Good boy, and you can just make out some movement as he's giving his toes a little bit of flexion. Yeah. If we stand, Merlin, good boy. If we stretch him forward slightly, <laughs> he's cheating. Good boy. We've got a little bit of extension and flexion going on, depending on whether he's holding on or not. And then if we push him slightly back, Good boy. Again, we have a little bit of extension there. Can we come around straight? Good boy. And then pull him forward. And we're extending a little bit. And as we go backwards, put your foot down. Good boy. Pull him. We've got more extension actually. There's not a lot of flexion going on there. I think that's more extension. And webbing.